Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today, we're going to use Minecraft again. But this time, we're going to be combining two skills we've been working on, input-output tables and coordinate grids. So let me show you what we're going to be learning about. We're going to be learning about patterns with graphing. First, we're going to be looking at line graphs. And we'll use that to write ordered pairs. Those ordered pairs will help us write equations. And lastly, we're going to be deciding whether the pattern is additive or multiplicative based on all those things. So let's check out this example to get us started. I'm going to take one spruce log and I get four planks out of that. So my line graph represents this situation where one spruce log makes four wood planks and then two spruce logs would make eight wood planks. So I can write those as ordered pairs. I see my first point is over one from the origin and up four. And then my second point is over two, up eight. Now, if I were to ask you, is this line graph, does it represent an additive pattern or a multiplicative pattern? It's really kind of hard to tell just by looking at the line graph. I like to look at the ordered pairs and find a pattern to get from all of the X amounts to all of the Y amounts. How can we get from one to four and two to eight? Okay, great, times four. One times four is four, two times four is eight. So that means our pattern is multiplicative and that will help us write our equation. All right, so our equation will be y, all of the y amounts, equal four times the x amounts. Let's try another example. So I have one wood plank, and I'm gonna put three more down. Try to be thinking about what operation you think I'm doing or what type of pattern, mul multiplicative or additive. Now I have two planks, and I'm going to put three more down. I'm doing the same thing each time. And let's see, now I have three wood planks, and you guessed it, I'm going to put three more down. Here is my line graph that goes with that situation. You can see my x-axis is the starting number of planks, and my y-axis is the ending number of planks. So first, can you find the ordered pairs that go with this? Okay, great. So if you start at the origin and go over 1, up 4, there's the ordered pair 1, 4. Then if you go over 2, up 5, there's a point. So 2, 5 is the other ordered pair. All right, now I want you to see if you can figure out if this is an additive or multiplicative pattern. All right, great job. So you probably noticed that to get from one to four and two to five is a plus three pattern. So that means it must be additive. Now I want you to pause the video and write a good equation that goes with that plus three pattern. Okay, let's check your work. So all of my Y amounts equal my X amounts plus that three. So I could continue this with three, six or four, seven. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and learned a lot, and I'll see you on the next one.